wanted to share with you tips and tricks that I use to repair and prevent damaged hair. Firstly, don't wash your hair too often. Give your hair a little bit of a break because your hair needs the natural oils from your scalp to keep it healthy and if you wash your hair every single day then you are going to strip your hair off of those oils and they won't be able to protect your hair. Instead try to use dry shampoo in between washes if you have really oily hair. I'm lucky to have dry hair, well lucky and unlucky, but because of colouring my hair blonde my hair is very dry so I don't have to wash it very often and it doesn't look very dirty often so I only wash my hair twice a week which really helps to give my hair some break. Another trick that I do is because I often go to the gym and my hair then gets dirty and I don't want to wash it every day um, even though it's gross and my hair gets full of sweat and so on um, mostly I notice that it's just around my hairline so instead of washing all of my hair I just to try to wash my hairline which has most of the dirt and the sweatiness so I just wash around uh, over here and my fringe and that makes it really easy and it, it still looks clean so I know it's really difficult and for me as well but try to use less heat on your hair because heat makes your hair really brittle and weakens your hair so it that causes damage and breaks it. So mostly nowadays hair dryers have a cool setting on them so what I do is I dry my hair um, first the first half of it I dry with um, a little bit of heat not too much usually I put my hair dryer here and I put my hand in front of it and if my hand can um, stand the heat then I know my hair can also stand it a little bit and then halfway through I will switch to the cool setting and just finish off my hair with a cool setting that way you can just protect your hair a little bit from the heat if you can't live without using heat um, stylers and and those things then you must always use a heat protector on your hair so that your heat protector can cover every strand to protect it from the heat also if you air dry your hair um, it will just give your hair a little bit of a break from the heat and it will minimize the damage usually I, do, I try to do this weekends when I can just air dry my hair and not use a hair dryer so just to give my hair a little bit of a break and if you are staying at home just try it um, I know a lot of girls are obsessed with their hair dryers and they can't go without it but it's a lot healthier for your hair just to air dry it next don't towel dry your hair this is so bad for your hair I mean like if you get out of, out of the shower and usually girls put a towel and wrap it around the hair that's also really bad because it tangles up your hair and then it just makes it more vulnerable to break because remember when your hair is um, wet it's in its most elastic form so it is the most vul vulnerable to break and to it's on its weakest um, stage so instead of rubbing your hair like this with a towel Rather, that what I do is I take my towel and I put it around and I wrap it around at the bottom, not at the top. So my hair will stay straight down instead of getting knotted. And then when I've done that, I just squeeze it like this with the towel. And then I take my towel and I pat it dry like this. This will minimize a lot of breakage. Often when people go into the sun and they suntan, they always think about their skin and the damage that the sun does to their skin but often they don't realize what the sun does to your hair sun the sun can also dry out your hair and cause breakers breakage as well as the wind so um, if you are outside try to wear a hat and also try to lightly fasten your hair so that it the wind doesn't blow your hair everywhere because that also causes um, split ends and so forth so once a week I try to use a deep conditioning mask I love the John Frieda Full Repair Deep Conditioning Mask, which looks like this, and it's designed especially for um, overstyled damaged hair, so it revives um, damaged hair. So after shampooing my hair with the John Frieda um, Full Body uh, Repair Shampoo, I put on this deep conditioning mask, and then I take a shower cap and I put it over my hair. Um, first, if my hair is falling out of the shower cap, I will tie it up just a loosely at the top, not too tight. 
and then I will put a shower cap over and I will let the water in the shower, um, the hot water, run over the shower cap while I'm washing my face and all the other things. And um, this will open up the hair follicles so that the conditioner goes deep into the hair and penetrates and, and the hair absorbs it properly. So this can help to repair the hair and um, really concentrate on conditioning and treating the hair properly. And then when I'm finished about five minutes later, I will take it off and rinse it with not too hot water. Because remember, hot water is also really bad for your hair and dries it out. So try to not um, wash your hair with hot water. After I've rinsed my hair with the not too hot water, then I will rinse my hair with really cold water. Now what this cold water does is it c closes the hair follicle and smoothens the cuticles so that your hair can feel smooth and it, can, it will make it look much more shiny. I also really recommend to use the whole of the John Frieda Full Repair Body Range. The ones, the products that I use is the full body shampoo, the full body conditioner, deep conditioning mask, which I've told you about, and the deep infusion perfect ends, which helps for your ends and it really absorbs into your hair to make the feel and the look of it um, better. And the um, protecting root lift foam this is also to protect against the heat that you are using and then the repairing oil which strengthens um, helps for shine and it just restores your hair now when it comes to brushing your hair try to not brush your hair daily I know it's, for some people it's really difficult but I've gotten used to it and I have naturally wavy hair so um, it gets really tangled easily but what I do is instead of um, brushing my hair every day I'll take, use a wide tooth comb or I'll just use my fingers like this so to prevent tangles um, I just really try to not brush my hair also one of the worst things that you can do is to brush your hair while it is wet because remember when your hair is wet then it's at its most weakest stage it's the most elastic so it can really weaken and um, you can really cause breakage while it is wet so you must really comb your hair with caution so when after I get out of the shower and I've put on my deep conditioning um, mask then I will um, comb my hair with a wide tooth comb now the, con the John Frieda um, full body conditioner and also the mask helps that to um, soften and smoothen your hair so that it can easily comb through because if you are using a conditioner that is not so good then um, you won't be able to comb through easily and that will also cause a lot of breakage and damage so make sure you use one that um, when you get out of, the, out of the shower you can easily take your fingers through your hair otherwise it is not a good enough conditioner now another interesting thing that I've read about is um, that you can use a silk pillow instead of a usual cotton or whatever pillow I haven't tried this but I really want to make one and then I, I will um, make a video also about it but I've read that a silk pillow can help um, minimize and prevent hair damage and it actually makes sense because if you are sleeping at night and you're rolling around and um, moving around then you can actually cause friction with the material it can cause breakage and it can make your hair static so it can also um, cause the damage to your hair but if you are using a silk pillow then um, it's very soft and smooth and the pillow won't make your hair static so this way it can prevent the hair damage so when it comes to hairstyles, most people don't realize this, but if you make a tight pony or a tight bun on the top of your hair, or you twist your hair around and you make another, put an, another elastic over it, then you are making your hair so um, much more weak and brittle because it is um, pulling the hair so much. So try to not do that and try to variate your uh, hairstyles. Also, if I have had my hair up in a pony or in a bun, because when I exercise I, ha I don't have a choice as to do that, then as soon as I get home I will um, take everything out and put my hair down. And also every single night I sleep with my hair um, down. 
because sleeping with an elastic in my hair or a tight pony will just um, put a lot of strain on my hair and I feel that it damages my hair. My final tip for you is if you color your hair, and I know some people just can't go without coloring their hair because this is my natural color and I don't want to be this color because I'm just used to being a blonde now for the last 10 years. So um, what I do to make it less damaging for my hair because obviously blonde is like the worst um, for damaging hair is I have the top deck coloring. So as you can see this is a dark color at the bottom and this is blonde at the top. So from my ears down this is my natural hair. I can see and feel a huge difference um, between this hair and my top hair. So I always grow out this hair, I never color this hair, it's not another brown, this is my own brown color and then I just color the top and that way I can still feel um, my, that my hair is a little bit more healthy because half of my hair is my natural hair so that means that it's a lot more healthier at the bottom and I can really feel the difference between the bottom and the, the top so um, I can really recommend um, coloring your hair that way I really hope that my tips and tricks have taught you something and that it can really help to prevent your hair from being damaged or to repair your hair. Some of these really, really work for me and I've been using them for a long time.